Happy New Year, fellow makers, and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup! It's 2022, the start of a new year, new beginnings, new trials, new tribulations, but hopefully, new joy, hope, and smiles. I've got joy, hope, and smiles because I ordered a new printer for a new year. Damn, that's heavy. It's the Ender 3 S1. Creality's latest version of the Ender 3 and it's got so many new features on it. I'm really looking forward to building it. It's got direct drive, it's got auto leveling. It can be plugged in online and you can basically send prints to it over the internet. It's got a little drawer in the front. All mod cons. And also finally it takes SD cards, not micro SD cards. And it's got a USB-C. Fantastic work Creality. I'm looking forward to it. I had a look at the making of video, how you put this thing together, and they made it look very, very simple. Now I've built about eight Ender 3s in the last year, and I know for a fact one thing they are not is simple to put together. There's all kinds of bits and pieces, you've got to make sure the side bits are straight, you've got to make sure all the belts are tight. It is a long and complex process. I mean nowhere near as complex as some of them, but Ender 3 is a lovely startup printer, but it is not simple. However, this is supposed to be simple and easy, and they've made it look like Lego on the video. Let's see if you can actually put this thing together and make it in the speed they do on their wonderful little instructional promotional mini movie. So, without further ado, let's get on with a New Year's Day, New Year's 3D printing build. Let's give this a try. Okay, here we go. We have got the Ender 3 S1. Oh, nice Christmas card there from the guys who provided this to me. I paid for it, it's not actually a gift. And here's the tools, the nuts, the bolts, the instruction manual, some stickers. And there's a few of the parts. There's the control panel, the hot end, power cable, the spool holder, the uh, there's an exosexus, and there is the base. You'll notice that basically it doesn't have a separate power supply on this. It all comes in the base this time, which is fantastic. Right, let's attach the uh, screws on the hot end and get that attached to the bar. This one looks a lot nicer. Look, it's all metal, it's all shiny. That looks a lot nicer than the usual one. And this one, instead of actually having to put all these together and measure them, they all come already attached. You just put a couple of screws in and that is the main frame of it done. I mean, that was quick. I got this done in like about five, six minutes. Attaching the bracket for the controller. There we go. A few simple screws with an Allen key and the uh, bracket is there. There is the Control panel, that just clips on, pop, and that is done. No more cables all over the place. This has cables in one nice woven material sheath. All the plugs are next to the thing you plug into, so no more guessing which is the Z, which is the X, and praying to God you plug the right thing in the right place. They're all just straight next to it. And as you can see here, they just plug straight into the main base, which is brilliant. There and there are the two stepper motors and they are plugged in correctly. Most important bit here, this is the voltage. In my neck of the woods it's 230, yours may be different. Check it before you switch this, make sure it's on the right setting before you plug it in and turn it on because if you put it on the wrong voltage it's either not going to work or it's going to blow up. And here we see the filament sensor that pauses your print if you run out of filament. A fantastic new feature. And talking of new features, here's how you tighten the belt. No more Allen keys, you just turn this nozzle. And a nice little drawer at the front here. I used to have to 3D print these, but now they come perfectly attached. SD card. USB-C. And there's the new control panel, which looks great. And it's in full colour and it really, really works lovely. Let's give this a try. So first of all, auto levelling. You turn it on, it uses the little sensor there probes the thing and tells you if your bed is straight and level. Now there was a handle print here for the printer so I'm going to print that first as a test. Let's see how this goes. 
Doesn't that look nice? I mean, it's all metal, it's all shiny. And it's direct drive. And there is the printer sensor doing its job. And yeah, that has turned out beautifully. Lovely layer lines, no problems. Right, let's print the lucky cat. Everyone likes the lucky cat. This cat comes with uh, supports already included on it, so uh, you don't have to worry about those. It all just prints out nicely. And yeah, he looks lovely. This is really, really good. Well, that was simple. I am very, very happy to report that yes, it is as simple as the video makes it out. The base is put together, the Z axis and X axis are already built. Everything is in three or four separate easy pieces and all the plugs are right next to the socket. So you just clip them in. It is simple, it is quick and it is intuitive. Just watch the video, follow along with what the guy does and you'll be absolutely fine with it. But how are the prints you ask? Well, I printed this natty little handle for the drawer on the front. That came out very, very nicely. No issues with the layer lines. Came off the bed, a lovely metal flexible heated bed, I may say. Um, it is very, very cool. I also printed the Lucky Cat. The details are nice. There's very little layering on it. It's smooth as butter. And yeah, there wasn't a single hiccup. Printed out with supports already built for it. So there was no need to build supports in Cura. It just printed straight off the SD card. So yeah, very, very happy with him. And of course, I had to print the piggy as well. And yeah, little piggy came out very, very nicely. He's got a mouth. He's got two nostrils, two eyes. His ears are smooth as anything. And yeah, the slot at the top is great. A lovely little 3D piggy bank. All of these printed quick. They printed very, very neat. And I am very, very happy with them. The auto leveling is brilliant. Yeah, you have to still do you know, the little calibration where you put the cardboard underneath the hot end if you want to get it perfect. However, on my first print, the handle, I didn't do that. I just did it straight out of the box, put it together, ran the auto leveling, and it printed absolutely fine. I mean, the other prints come out better because I fine tuned it a bit. But yeah, this is a straight out the box calibrated printer. Very, very impressed and I'm very much enjoyed doing it. Definitely, I'd say four out of five for this because let's face it, it's an Ender 3. It's not a high level printer. It's fantastic though. If you're starting out, I can't recommend the Ender 3 S1 enough. As soon as I've got hold of the laser inscriber for it, I'll give that a review at the moment. But at the moment, I'm loving this. I'm looking forward to doing a full review next week once I've had a bit of time to play with it. In the meantime, stay happy, stay safe. Happy New Year!